Hey everybody, welcome to Active Cell Protection Extra. Yes, I know, I'm wearing the mask. It's not something I would normally do, but the CDC recommends it out in public now. And so I'm trying to lead the way a little bit with some hygiene and keep everybody safe in this crisis. But it's new gun owner orientation again, and it's time for us now to think about buying our first gun. If you haven't gone there yet, what are you gonna expect here at the gun store? And we're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale. So let's wander around a little bit and show you kind of what to expect and how to buy your first gun well. Today's video is made possible thanks to the generous sponsorship of companies like LuckyGunner.com. Please head to LuckyGunner.com and thank them for being a sponsor of Active Self Protection. So I think the first time you walk into a gun store, it might be a little intimidating. Now, for those of us who've been in gun stores a whole bunch, you see a bunch of rifles on the wall or whatever, and you go, oh man, super cool. But you know, if I kind of pan over this way, this could be intimidating if you are a new gun owner, but I, I'm telling you, even before you bought one, for most part, when you walk in, if you say, hey, I'm new to this and I need some help, the employees are gonna be really helpful. They're gonna really help you see the right thing. So don't be afraid to ask for some help. But I wanna show you kinda of how a place like C2 is set up so that you can get the best experience and buy the right gun for you. So one of the ways that C2 does this, and I really love, is they take some of these manufacturers, like these are Smith & Wesson firearms, and they sit them out here so that you can get your hand on them. Now, of course, we're practicing good social distancing and I'm gonna wash my hands and keep them out of my face and those kinds of things. But I can get a feel for, how does this gun feel in my hand and does it fit my hand? Remember, we've already done a video on proper handgun fit and finding the right gun for you. And this is a great way that without buying one, you could say, okay, does this gun fit my hand in its current configuration? Some of these will have uh, different adjustable back straps. And so you can see, for instance, like this is an M&P Shield 2.0, very much smaller gun than the M&P 2.0 Compact with different grips. So I can come and feel that. Now, of course, this is a, an actual firearm. Now, I'm actually not positive here. I've got to ask maybe if they actually have the firing pins in these guns. But we always remember, if we have a gun in our hand, we're going to point it in a safe direction. We're going to keep our finger off the trigger until we've decided to fire. We're going to verify that the gun is unloaded before we do anything. Now, we might say, hey, what's that trigger like? Okay, cool, but notice I've pointed the gun in a safe direction. I've kept my finger off the trigger until I've decided I want to fire, and before I did that, I verified that it was unloaded. So make sure that you're following the rules of firearm safety all the time when you're pointing, these, you know, when you're picking one of these up, because if not, you're going to wave it around. Now, if your gun store doesn't have one of these, they're in a case behind the counter. Might even look like some of these and have them in there. And if you said, for instance, these are CZs here, and you said, hey, I really want to uh, put one of those CZs in my hand because I've heard they're good guns. They are. And if I said I really wanted to do that, you just ask one of the employees and they'll get it out of the case for you. Now, once you've picked maybe two or three that you think this one might work well for me, now it's time to come to the range. Now, of course, here at C2 in Scottsdale, they have a beautiful indoor range facility. But one of the things that I love about it is that a lot of these indoor ranges and even some outdoor ranges have a sizable rental case. And the beauty here is I don't have to buy a gun hoping it's right for me. I can then look, feel a few, yeah, I think so, and then rent them. And in a lot of places, they'll have an awful lot of the guns that are uh, for display or for sale. They'll have them here available for you to rent. Now, the cool part of that is that when it's time for you to rent one, a lot of times if you rent a gun, then they will apply that rental price towards the purchase of the firearm if you choose to purchase it. Now, they're gonna make you shoot their ammo when you do that. And that's reasonable because they don't know where your other ammo's coming from. So they wanna make sure it's quality ammo and all those things. So a lot of times for insurance purposes and whatever, they'll ask you to shoot their stuff. But once you do that, then you can uh, uh, shoot that gun and make sure that it does fit your hand correctly, that the recoil is acceptable, that it's a good quality handgun. Now, one of the things that I do wanna talk about when you walk into gun stores, I really want you to have done your own research ahead of time. And the reason for that is, when you're at a place like this, I know the employees and the staff here at C2, and they're really fantastic, and they really wanna help you find the right gun for you. There are thousands and thousands of gun stores in America, and not all of them have employees at that highest standard. So I want you to go do some research, maybe watch the channel a good bit. Maybe go do a little bit of internet homework on what kind of guns are selling well, what are the features of them, and those kinds of things. So that you at least have a little bit of knowledge. But if you build a little bit of rapport, as long as, you know, I have a couple of diagnostic questions. Number one, if, uh, if a gun store employee recommends that all women start with a small airweight revolver, that person's an idiot, and you should stay away from him and not add, let him answer any more questions for you. Secondarily, if uh, you know, there's a couple other things like that, but the biggest ideas is, is are they looking to help you find what's right for you? Most places, I think most employees, they're interested in, in building a long-term relationship with you, so they're gonna ask you what's the right thing for you and help you find that. If they're trying to push you in one direction without good reasons for that, those are some reasons that we go, eh, I'm not gonna listen to you on a whole lot of stuff. 
but hopefully you get a good employee like you get here at C2. Now, a couple things that you wanna think about when it comes time to buy your first gun is you're gonna probably buy more than the firearm. Number one, you probably wanna buy at least a couple of extra magazines if they have them available. Number two, you're gonna to wanna to buy ammunition. And we talked about the difference between jacketed hollow points and full metal jackets. So you wanna probably buy a little, little bit of both if they have them available. Go watch those videos for those things. But a couple other things, if it's gonna be a home defense gun or a concealed carry gun, you need some kind of storage for the firearm. And if you didn't buy that online, it's not all right at the house, you're probably gonna to wanna to go home from the gun store with that. You also, if you're going to carry it concealed, gonna to wanna to start looking at holsters, gonna to wanna to start looking at belts, those kinds of things. We'll talk about those in another uh, episode. But when it comes time to actually buy the gun, there's some folks that, that I get this idea that says, okay, wait a minute, is there a price point to haggle here? Guys, these aren't like buying cars. The reality is if you're buying a new gun, chances are the gun store is making a few bucks on it at best. They're really low margin. Sometimes in the used gun uh, case, you can get one where they'll, they'll haggle with you a little bit. But quite frankly, for your first gun, I wouldn't recommend buying one. So a couple things here with the new gun owner orientation, the biggest thing that you wanna pay attention to. Number one, don't be afraid to go into the gun store. They're just a retail establishment like any other. Number two, when you walk in, make sure you follow the rules of firearm safety at all times. Rule number three, Try them out here, and if you don't have them out like this, get a few in your hand. Number four, go try one out at the range. Get some out of the rental case, and that'll help you pick the right gun for you.